Hey, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be sharing a roadmap on how to enter DevOps. So DevOps Roadmap 2023 edition. So let's dive right into it. Here are some prerequisites that I highly recommend before getting into DevOps. The first one is Linux. The second one, a programming language, which I highly recommend to be Python. And also with Linux, have some networking fundamentals. Know about DNS, know about TCP, UDP, how internet works. So for these prerequisites, I would highly recommend learn to cloud if you have followed this channel some of you already might know what learn to cloud is it's the free open source guide to learn cloud Gwen here has covered each prerequisite that I mentioned so Linux networking and programming fundamentals in depth so you can check it out at learn to cloud dot guide again this is a free resource I think with these prerequisites we can continue with the roadmap so if you're curious git coder who you can find on Instagram made this infographics so you build all the graphics but here is my roadmap so the first i'll go over the entire roadmap quickly here so we have on first the version control system so that's where i would start and then move towards the continuous integration and continuous deployment which is the ci cd and then the third would be infrastructure as code or iac fourth being configuration management and then fifth containerization so docker and kubernetes and then sixth is monitoring and observability the tools like prometheus and Grafana and then there are some paid tools like Datadog and a lot of other monitoring services that are available. So let's dive into the first one which is the version control system. Begin by learning the fundamentals of version control system like Git because Git is really popular. You can easily have hands-on practice by uploading your projects to GitHub. GitHub uses Git. You can familiarize yourself with how branches work, how pull requests work, what is all of these terms, you know, Git pull, Git merge. Familiarize yourself with version control system. It will allow you to follow changes to your code, team up with different developers, and also maintain the history of your code base. So that's what version control system is. Now let's move to the second one, which is continuous integration and deployment. When you have a strong understanding of the version control system, learn about CICD. CICD is a bunch of practices that permit engineers to build, test, and deploy their code. And it also helps with rapid development and reduces the risk of errors. Continuous integration basically means you're doing updates to your code base in smaller chunks so that it can be tested and deployed in smaller chunks. It accelerates your development life cycle. And then the deployment part is what continuous deployment is. This diagram explains, you know, what continuous integration is. So you build, test, and merge your code to typically a production or main branch. So branch, again, that's why I said learn version control system first. So you'll know what branches are. Typically there is a production or main branch. And after doing the build test, you usually merge it. And then continuous delivery or deployment takes care of deploying that code to the environment where customers can use it. So that's the CI CD part of it. Moving on to the third one, which is infrastructure as code. Infrastructure as code, as the name suggests, you can guess basically you define your infrastructure as a code file. And there are different tools available for this. AWS, Azure, and GCP have their own infrastructure as code tools. CloudFormation is for AWS. Azure Bicep is for Azure. You also have cloud agnostic tools like Terraform and Pulumi. So Terraform is really popular. So I would pick that because it's cloud agnostic. By the way, cloud agnostic means you can deploy your infrastructure as code to any of these cloud providers. IEC is the act of overseeing infrastructure, for example, servers, networks, and different assets through code instead of physically deploying and manually configuring every part. This assists with automating the infrastructure deployment process, make it more straightforward to deploy and scale applications. So basically you are deploying servers or networks using code instead of doing it in the console or CLI. Configuration management, which is the fourth topic. So configuration management is the practice of maintaining the consistency and reliability of an application or a system over time through the use of tools and processes. Think of Ansible, right? Ansible is a really popular tool that is used for configuration management. If I had to learn a configuration management tool, it would be Ansible or Chef. So that's our fourth topic. The fifth, after configuration management is containerization. So another important skill for DevOps engineers is containerization. Containers allow you to package your application and its dependencies together, making it easy to deploy and run 
on any system. Learn about Docker and Kubernetes. So Docker allows you to package an application and its dependency in a container. So Docker is what is used to containerize an app and then run that container as an isolated process on a host machine. Whereas Kubernetes is an open source platform for automating the deployment, scaling, and management of the containerized applications. Docker is used to containerize and then Kubernetes is used to orchestrate those containers. So learn both of these technologies. Moving on to our the sixth and the final chapter, which is learn about monitoring and observability. These practices include utilizing tools and processes to track the performance and health of your application and infrastructure. I would recommend tools like Prometheus and Grafana. Build your own dashboards and start monitoring your AWS, GCP, or any of the cloud providers that you're using. Start measuring those metrics that are important for your application. And with that, that is the complete roadmap. And at the end, I wanted to include the DevOps guide, which is a free and open source guide that I created, and it's available on GitHub and also on the URL, the DevOps guide. All of the chapters that I went over, they're included there. So you can see I cover what DevOps is, what is the DevOps guide, and what are some prerequisites you need before starting this. You can see all of the chapters that we went over are included here, and that's how this guide is built. So you can see on the left-hand side, you have different phases or chapters. You start with zero, that explains what is DevOps and you know what are some practices. And then moving on to all of the chapters that I just went through. So version control, CI, CD, infrastructure as code, configuration management, containerization, and then monitoring and observability. That is my roadmap for DevOps in 2023. I hope this video helped you. Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to keep up to date with cloud or DevOps content. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.